So guys, over the past two or three weeks, we have been seeing some crazy like volatility in the market, right? We went from a V-shape correction to another uh, V-shape downtrend or an A-shape downtrend, however you would want to look at it. So needless to say, my portfolio looks very different from the last video that I've shown you guys. And uh, we will get into that today. <clears throat> but before we do that, I want to go over a few things with you guys. Um, exactly why exactly what my plan is if we do have another market crash or a severe correction in the market which we probably need because i feel like stocks are still somewhat too high right they're, they're not sustainable they're still almost they're back almost to all-time highs like they were you know toward the beginning of the year and some of the things that i look at which some of you guys may know already i'll go over that exactly what i look at when i'm looking for a a dividend stock now whenever i'm holding a dividend stock or really any stock in general that i'm going to hold for quite a long time if it dips down i'm going to take advantage of that and i'm going to buy more into it now that is called dollar cost averaging that is one strategy i use in order for me to get my average cost per share down um and really gives me a overall higher return over time because now because now where i bought that at now where i bought the company at is lower than what i previously bought it for so when it comes back up obviously i'll be making more money but one of the main things that i look at um after I, you know i look at the face value of a stock when it comes to the the cost of the stock the how it performed over the last year last five years um the dividend yield, the market cap, all of that is the payout ratio. Now the payout ratio is a good thing to look at. It'll kind of tell you how safe a dividend may be. Uh, it's not gonna tell you exactly if they're gonna cut it or not, but it will tell you how sustainable the dividend is. So, so a couple of the companies that I own do have some uh, unsustainable dividend uh, payout, you know, payouts, but Needless to say, they still haven't cut their dividend yet. So that doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to cut it if their dividend uh, payout ratio is in that unsustainable area. But that is a good place to start because people with less than 100, actually, you know, more in the 70 and below zone are more susceptible to keeping their dividends and even raising them in times of economic hardship or whatever the case may be like now. Well, guys, before we get into the phone, I just want to say thank you so much for pushing this channel like you guys have been doing. We are so close to um, 1,000 subs. Let's get this whiteboard. Uh, let's make it true, you see? 1,000 subs. We will be doing a give back. Not a giveaway. We'll be giving back to the subs um, once we hit 1,000 subs. And I don't know if it's going to be a big bundle prize or if it's going to be a couple you know little prizes here and there but once we hit a thousand subs i will let you guys know um i'll put it in one of the videos exactly what you have to do to be entered in that giveaway i think we're at 960 subs right now or 970 subs actually so let's go ahead and get to 1000 subs by the end of this month guys i know we can do it share this with your friends hit that like button hit that red subscribe button smash that like button uh, Cause it really helps this channel more than you guys know. Like I said, thank you guys so much for everything you have been doing for this channel. Also, guys, let me know in the comments below what type of content you want to see from me. Whether it be more stock market, more news related, more types of strategies, uh, going over individual stocks, whatever the case may be. Personal finance, credit, um, and I do feel well versed in many of these areas. So let me know in the comments below what I can help you guys with. Cause I'm all about giving value to you so yeah so guys as you can see this past month we really did a lot of climbing and at the end of last week we were getting pretty high up there as you can see well at last monday we did see a substantial drop over the week though and from monday of last week to friday of last week we've seen a 5.6 percent drop now that is a insane drop for the stock market and that is the reason we built up like we did uh, over the past couple weeks is because of something called FOMO the fear of missing out 
and people are seeing the stock market climb and they're like, oh no, it's coming back up. I gotta get it. I have to get in it. I'm gonna miss out. I'm gonna miss out this, that, and that. And what happens is the stock market accelerates way too fast and people wanna take their profits. So that's when they get out. As you can see, as you can see, it's like a 6.6% .6 drop, um, I think was the lowest point of last week. And this week, Monday, we did see a little, you know, gain, a little traction back, but not much compared to how much we lost last week. And guys, me being a seasoned investor at this point, I don't really let the speculation, I don't let the news take fear of me. I don't let the speculation take hold of me. I don't let the fear of missing out take hold of me because I'm sticking to my plan and I know what I need to do, especially in these times. So yeah, let's take a look at my Robinhood portfolio and I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like today and over the past couple weeks or whatever. So on the day we are up 1.32% uh, on this bad boy. Uh, we're up after hours. So over the past week on my portfolio alone, I'm down 300 bucks, close to $300, which is 5.25%, okay? Um, over the past month, you can see this growth we have here, just a crazy amount, boom, when we peaked out at 19%, which is $915.48, which is awesome, okay? It's great. I even came back on the one-year chart positive. My three-month chart, I'm up 17.48%, which is $792, which is great. But as you can see here, one year short, I'm still down 1.1%, which I'm not worried about. And guys, and guys, today I did add a hundred bucks and I did buy some stocks and I'll go over exactly what I bought in a second. But first, what I wanna do is I wanna take a look at everything that's positive and green. So SPHD, we're still down. Coca-Cola, we're still down. AT&T, we're still down. But RTX, Apple, um, Realty Income, we're up. Bank of America, we're almost up. Uh, PSEC, we're down. Agency, we're down. MJ, we're down. Pfizer, we're down. Stag, we're up. Uh, Aflac, we're down. Verizon, we're down. So as you can see here, it's pretty mixed when it comes to what's up and what's down in my portfolio. Um, obviously, I'm still down on the year, but I'm not too worried about it because the plan that I have going on uh, today. Oh, well, really, you know, I'm, I'm following my plan. I'm not worried. I'm more focused on these dividends and the passive income I'm gonna get from them over the next couple years. So it's not about getting the gains from the actual raising of the value of the stock. It's about getting the dividends, the gains or a plus. We wanna make sure those dividends are solid. Now guys, I put $100 in my portfolio today and I spent the $100 on buying a few stocks. Um, let's see. Uh, Four days ago, I got paid $1.72. <laughs> That's awesome, which got reinvested back into AGNC. So eight hours ago, eight hours ago, I put $30 into SPHD to finally get my shares up to uh, 25 uh, shares, you know, my total shares up to 25 shares. So I bought almost a whole share at $33.31, which effectively lowered my average cost so now i'm up to 25 shares a little over 25 shares in a 16.16 um of my portfolio diversity you know the the value percent of my uh portfolio and i dropped my average cost down to 36 dollars and seven cents also i bought 50 dollars worth of raytheon technologies let's see well 50 dollars worth of raytheon technology so i effectively so i, I bought 0.781908 shares at $63.95. So I did lower my um, average cost to $64.78. As you can see here, ooh, I can't wait to start adding, to get more and more of Raytheon. Um, I definitely want them to drop lower again so I can dump a you know large amount of money in it to get that gain when it comes back up, you know what I'm saying? But um, on June 18th, I'll be getting 62 cents from the dividend as well. But now I have 6.545875 shares of this bad boy. And I am up 4% on my total return, which is $17.79. And for the last thing I bought today, I bought AT&T, about $20 worth of AT&T at um, $29.91. 
uh, which I received 0 0.668703 shares at $29.91, which is awesome. I did lower my um, average cost to $33.20. Now I'm up to 14.401406 shares of AT&T. D-Rock living life, I'm gonna hit you up, bro. Uh, my total return is $37.41. So I kind of want to get a large amount of my goal right now is to focus on one to three stocks get them up to 25 to 50 shares which um right now i'm focusing on 25 shares um of at&t and raytheon technologies and i'll probably start i got sphd up to 25 shares which i wanted to do that i'm probably going to get them up to 50 shares by the end of the year I want to start working on realty income, try to get them up to 25 shares um, as well, but they're starting to climb and climb more. So I need to, I need to get the ball rolling. You know what I mean? I don't want to start buying them at an overpriced, um, too overpriced, at least right now. But guys, I'm going to get out of this portfolio. If you want to start investing and you haven't, you can go to the link in the description. Actually, I'll pin uh, a comment on top, uh, my pin comment actually. Um, if you use that comment to sign up using Robinhood, you will get a free stock and I will get a free stock as well just for you signing up. And you'll basically have a leg up on most people because most people don't get free stocks whenever they first start investing. Well guys, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm because it really helps more than you guys know. Once again, let's make this bad boy true here. Let's get a thousand subs by the end of June. I know we could do it. Also, Leave me a comment. Let me know what kind of content you guys want to see from me. What can I help you with on this journey we are together? Again, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that little red subscribe button. Turn the greater join this family we got going on. And if you want to continue your journey to financial enlightenment with me, go ahead and click one of these videos, guys. Have a great day. I'm going to get out of here. Peace and love.